Here we're going to take a look at one of my favorite little baits. This is our Ultra Finesse Worm. This is a little different than a lot of the other worms you see out there. A lot of guys will call these trout worms. Ours is a little bit different. Um, these are not floating trout worms. Uh, it's really just an all-purpose scaled down version of a worm. You can see it's fairly thin as well. It has a slight taper to it. It's a little thicker up here at the head, just like a normal worm would look. And then it tapers down into the tail. It's a little under two and a half inches long. I think it's around two and three eighths. And uh, this thing really fools fish. Uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite baits. It's very underrated. Um, bait that we offer. Not many guys think to use it. And you can fish it a lot of different ways. You can just fish it on a plain little jig like this. The size of the jig doesn't matter really too much because you have all this room here to play with. I believe this one's a size six, but you go up to a four, you can even go up to a two. Of course, the bigger you go, the farther you're going to creep back in the tail and the little less movement you would get. Um, so I'd stick with a size 4 or 6, something like that. Now, big panfish can really get a hold of this thing. You would think that uh, you know, a big panfish would just nibble at the tail, but I've caught some really nice panfish on this guy, and they're able to get a hold of the, the whole thing. Um, the smaller panfish, though, will short strike at it, not be able to quite stuff it in their mouth. And with those fish, you can trim this worm. So you could pull this worm off, trim off an inch, uh, and thread it back on to the jig. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You can certainly do that. And you can also fish this under a float too. Uh, so I'll fish it on a jig and just hang it uh, underneath a little float. And if you just pull that float and give it twitches, um, that little tail just does the work underwater. Now, my favorite way to fish it by far on a little drop shot. This thing is deadly on a little drop shot. And here you can see I've actually thread it onto the hook. And this is how most of you guys are going to want to fish it, just because uh, you'll see in the video uh, at the end here, I have some video of taking it out yesterday and fishing it. I did nose hook it a fair amount that day. Um, what happens there is fish do tend to pull this guy off if you just barely nose hook. Um, and also if you do the nose hick style where it just sits on the, the tip of the hook. So basically, if you nose hook where you just barely have the tip exposed, like that, it looks really good in the water, but what happens is on my little ultralight rod and light line, it's really hard to get that entire hook to, to bury in the fish. So you miss a few fish in the beginning until you really figure out that you've got to really zap them and get that plastic to move down the bend of the hook. Uh, the other way to nose hook is you can simply just spear it, have it sit like that. But you will have fish uh, pull that off your line if you're not careful. So I've kind of resorted to just taking it and threading it onto the little hook. I found my hookup ratio you know, got exponentially better once I started doing that. But very, very deadly. I can't uh, tell you how much I like this little bait. We offer it in a lot of, a lot of colors on the website. And uh, if you guys start buying them and liking them, we'll make them in more colors. But we kind of just made some wormy, popular colors, the ones we really like. So uh, what we'll do is go ahead and cut to the footage where I am fishing it and catching fish. I was fishing mainly for uh, little panfish and and bass yesterday. Caught quite a few. Um, missed quite a few too. Uh, at the very end I had one really giant fish uh, just attack it and uh, wasn't really prepared for that on my little ultralight rod and took one big jump, tossed the hook and lost them. But uh, that is our ultra finesse worm and you can find them on our website moondogbaitco.com.